Alrighty, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the Divi theme builder and we're gonna go through and show you how to basically create your first page and use it as the home page. So right now, if we come in, we can see we still have, we now have the Divi header after we've activated the theme, uh, but we don't exactly have any page to do it on. So we can, just enable a visual builder on our home page. Or what I like to do is come into pages, go to the all pages, and I like to start new. So I move all of my pages to the trash, and now I know I've got nothing. I do the same thing with the posts. I move them all to the trash, and there we go. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then we come back to our pages. So we move all pages and all posts to the trash. So if we come in uh, and we go to the pages, let's go to add new. And we come in here and I'm just gonna call it home. Now I'm gonna come in here and use the Divi Builder. And then it's gonna give me a couple of options. So we can either, oops, we'll start building. We're gonna skip the tutorial there. Uh, and what I usually do would be build from scratch, but let's grab a layout. And let's start with the layout. So we'll go clone. I'll show you that again. So if we go back, let's go and exit, enable visual builder. So we'll go build from scratch, which we won't go build from scratch, excuse me. That is, we'll give you nothing and you do it all. We can choose a pre-made layout. We can clone an existing page. I click the wrong thing. I click clone existing page. We don't have any pages. So we'll choose a pre-made layout. And these are the Divi layouts. So we can come in here and these are your, you know, these are our personalized ones. We haven't created any, so there'll be nothing there. So we can come in here and we can find, these are all Divi layouts. And all that you need to do is use your API key to download them. I've already installed my API key so that you don't see it. But let's say, what can we create today? Used a few of these, but not all of them. But let's say we're making a hosting company. Brilliant, that'd be a lot of tickets and a lot of people asking questions. So we'll get the hosting company's home page. You can view the live demo, but we're just gonna use this layout. It'll take a little bit. And then that way we've just got a home page to go to. So once it loads itself in. All right, perfect. And there you go. We can see we've got premium hosting services, blah, blah, blah. All right, and then you can obviously come in here and edit whatever you want. And we can say sub premium hosting because we're not a great hosting company. So we'll publish that and then that's our homepage. So that's just forward slash home. But we can use that now as our homepage. So if we come back into our test site, go to the dashboard, and then if you go to pages, you'll see that we have the homepage. But let's go into tool uh, settings, excuse me, and uh, writing, reading, reading. So now you go to settings, we go to reading, and it says your homepage displays your latest posts. We don't really want that, we don't have any posts. We're making a, you know, a static website about a hosting company. We probably want it to display the homepage. So you can come in here and there'll be all of the pages you've created, just select home. And that's pretty much it save those changes and now you'll see when we just go to this link you can see that we get the sub premium hosting services and that's how that works so now we have the home page and that is how you set up your first page awesome thanks for watching